We have some breaking news from Wendell. Someone had to be rescued from a car in the water. CBS 17's Galat Malamud is live for us tonight. What do we know, Galat? We're on Pool Road right by Lake Myra, and I want to show you this car that's about to be towed away. This is a car that overturned in the water. The Wendell Fire Department says one person was taken to the hospital. You can see the front bumper on this sedan is completely crushed. This is right by the Lake Myra Dam on Pool Road. The Wendell Fire Department says one person was in this car. They don't know the condition of the person who was taken to the hospital. We'll keep you updated online at CBS17.com as this car is pulled out from the Lake Myra Dam here. Live in Wendell, Gila Halamid, CBS 17 News. All right, Gila, thank you. Thousands more students will return to school soon. Supplies weren't cheap before now, hmm. and we know everything costs more these days. Yep, there are people trying to help out, including the folks at the Durham Rescue Mission who are preparing supplies and meals to help families. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis joins us live from that mission tonight. Mariah. Yes. Things are definitely smoking out here. I can tell you it smells amazing. And if you take a look, the volunteers say that they've been working so hard. They're actually going to be working over here overnight, getting meals for thousands of people ready for tomorrow. They say families are really struggling right now, and the higher prices of everything are not helping out. For more than 20 years. Oh, yeah. Chuck McLean has been firing up the grill. I wound up bringing a pig cooker one morning about 4 o'clock, and I wound up staying all day, and here I am 22 years later. <laughs> Each year, he works overnight to cook a meal for thousands of families during the Durham Rescue Mission's back-to-school party and backpack giveaway. <laughs> He's one of 500 volunteers helping to pass out a warm meal, groceries, clothing, and backpacks filled with school supplies. When somebody lines up at 5 o'clock in the morning for a book bag, they need it. McLean says over the years, the need has grown as especially now with the cost of everything going up. Inflation, you know, you take somebody that's making minimum wage, their, their, their income hadn't changed in the last year, you know, but what they buy has. David Cash with the Durham Rescue Mission says they pass out around 2,500 backpacks, but this year he expects that number to grow. In fact, there are a lot of families that have made comments to us that if it were not for events like this, they would not have the, the tools needed to excel and to do well in school. It's a mission with a purpose, providing the community with a little help that goes a long way. Now these guys are going to be out here throughout the night, but at 5 in the morning they're going to start preparing that meat, getting it cut up for all those meals ready to serve starting around 10 in the morning. Reporting in Durham, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. Great work that they're doing. Smell it. They can always yeah. smell it through the TV. It looks exactly. so good. Exactly. All right, Mariah, thank you.